Wow. So last night in the presser, um, John Harbaugh, he tried to prep us for this. He tried to let us know ahead of time what it was going to be and what to expect. Um, because, you know, when Harbaugh talks about injuries, he's usually very mum on them. And, and he he's usually uh, speaks about them with this hopeful attitude like, oh, yeah, it's nothing serious. This player is going to be all right. This player should be good. He'll only be out for a little bit. But last night with LJ Fort, uh, he said that he expected it to be bad. So this was something that, again, like I said, he tried to prep us for. Um, and unfortunately... They ended up being right because they said that LJ Fort completely tore his ACL completely. And that's a uh, that's a big blow for the Ravens. Huge blow for the Ravens. Uh, LJ Fort was somebody just to to go back when he first joined the Ravens, came on uh, in 2019 uh, after I think he came on after the Ravens just got whooped by the Browns at the crib. Um, they signed this guy, LJ Ford, and they signed Josh Bynes, and with LJ Ford, I was initially like, man, like, who's LJ Ford? Because I didn't know anything about him, knew absolutely nothing about him, uh, but my boy Carlo, shout out to my guy Carlo, he told me about him, he was like, man, this guy's smart, he, he knows his stuff, he, he been on, he been on, been on a few teams in his career, I think he played with the Steelers, the Browns, uh, he went to, uh, the Eagles as well, um, so this was a new home for him. Um, but he definitely settled in like fast, fast. He settled in like right away. Um, and he certainly made his mark. And, and that's something that we saw in his game. Uh, we saw the smarts. He definitely uh, knows his stuff. You can tell he definitely studies uh, his film like crazy. Uh, so it's, this is a big blow for the Ravens. The fact that LJ Ford is going to be gone uh, for the entire season, entire season. And we knew that like they they wanted to transition eventually uh, to Malik Harrison having that starting role alongside Patrick Queen. We we knew that was on the way, um, but for it to officially happen like this, because this pretty much makes it official that Malik Harrison is going to be starting next to Patrick Queen, even though it was looking like that already, especially how they have been playing them in the preseason. But this this makes it official. Um, so, and it's unfortunate, I hate when roster spots, I hate when playing time and all of that is decided, uh, by injury, because that, that's the worst way for something to be decided. Um, but it's, it's an unfortunate part of the business and the worst part of football injuries, people getting hurt. Um, so LJ Fort, he definitely will be missed for sure. Um, that's, that's a, that's a real tough blow, man. That's a tough blow. And he was one of those players where Ravens, they traded for him in uh, 2019. Uh, and then they signed him back for another year. They were like, okay, yeah, we really like this guy. Let's bring him back another year. So they had him last year. And then they're like, oh, you know what? Let's re-sign him again. Well, But first they cut him. First they cut him. And that upset a lot of us, especially me, because I'm like, why? What are you doing? But then they re-signed him. And I was like, okay, okay. They just wanted to bring him back for a little bit cheaper. They want to save a little bit of money. I was like, okay, all right, business move. Um, so the Ravens obviously love what they saw and what they've seen from LJ Ford thus far. Uh, that's why they just kept bringing him back. They brought him in, and then they brought him back, and then they brought him back again. Um, but now you got to think that uh, with him being on injury reserve now, uh, with his season with the Ravens being over, um, you almost got to feel like this may be – uh, the end of LJ Fort uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. And the reason I say that, I definitely wouldn't want it to be. Um, but now they are they're forced to see what life is like without LJ Fort. And with them continuing to sign him to short-term deal after short-term deal, um, we you, you could tell by that that they weren't looking at him as a long-term option. And then especially with the draft, when they drafted a Patrick Queen, when they drafted a Malik Harrison, they drafted their linebackers of the future. But now, unfortunately, with this injury, that makes the future the present. That makes the future the right here, right now. Um, so it's, man, it, it just sucks, man. It sucks. It, it sucks for LJ Ford. It sucks. I, I hate it. Hate it. Um, man, Ravens. So now they uh their linebackers currently on the roster. Of 
course, Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison, who we talked about, uh, but also Christian Welch. Uh, Christian Christian Welch, he is um, now he has an opportunity. Or is it Christian Welch? Sure, I feel like I'm messing up his name, um, but it, it's like he now he has an opportunity uh, to really make the roster. Now I remember he went out last week. Um, he he went out last week uh, with a I think a little little shoulder sting or neck sting or something like that. But he played last night, so he was all in the game. So he is back. Uh, we are still, of course, still have Chris Board as well. Uh, Atara Laka, I think he's still injured. So I could see them uh, putting Atara Laka on injured reserve this week, possibly, uh, and then maybe they may sign a veteran now. They may sign another veteran. I'm not sure of all the guys who are out there, but that could be a move that they make because their linebacker group, super athletic, fast, physical, but they are lacking a little bit in the experience department. Just a little bit. Um, not to say that they wouldn't be able to do it. Not to say they wouldn't be able to still get stuff done and get the job done and play good enough to be successful because I think they can, uh, but they're still lacking in that experience department. Uh, so with them lacking there, uh, I, I would expect them to go sign um, sign a linebacker. Now, uh, another thing that this does for the Ravens, we know by Tuesday, by Tuesday at 4 p.m., like we've been talking about, they have to get down to uh, 80 men on the roster. So they have to make five roster moves. So unfortunately, this is going to be one of them when they place L.J. Fort on injured reserve uh, since again his is confirmed that his season is over torn ACL uh, that's it so this will be one of the roster moves that they make um, so I would expect them to announce that roster move probably tomorrow uh, where they place them on injured reserve so then they'll have four additional roster moves uh, to make so of course you know we'll keep you posted on uh, whatever happens with that um, but man this is just it's a real unfortunate situation, man. Because LJ Ford, not only was he a good player um, and a smart player, uh, and he was one of those guys, again, right place, right time. He's a right place, right time type of player. Uh, but he was somebody that was liked and, and respected in the locker room, too. So um, it's, it's always tough. I mean, it's always tough when you lose anybody. Uh, but when you lose somebody that brings a good morale to the team, uh, that, that makes it uh, even tougher. So, mm, mm, mm. that is a, uh, wow, that sucks. That sucks. Um, but this is, uh, this is actually the first major injury that the Ravens have gotten uh, this entire offseason. Um, well, they did have a, uh, oh, they did have the undrafted, Undrafted rookie free agent guy who he went out for the season. I forget his name. He's a defensive lineman, though. But as far as somebody who was expected to be a contributor on a team, uh, somebody who has been on a team already, this was the first big blow uh, to somebody um, of significance to the team. Uh, and this is the, the first big injury to somebody who is, is known on a team and, and has been a starter on a team before. Uh, but well, hopefully it's the last because yeah, we we had all been like every time we hear of an injury, uh, we all started to sweat because we hear we heard about so many injuries during training camp, during practices, during all of that stuff, and we would just be like, oh boy, because again, Marlon Humphrey, uh, Hollywood Brown, Sammy Watkins, Brandon Stevens, Jimmy Smith. Um, Rashad Bateman, of course, Miles Boykin, Deion Kane, Ben Cleveland, uh, Kevin Zeitler. Uh, we, and and it's, it's still more. We could go down a, a long list because the list was very long of injuries that we've heard about Ravens players sustaining throughout the offseason. But even with as long as that list has been, all the injuries, they've not, they haven't been significant. They haven't been season-ending. Uh, the longest one right now, the worst one, is Rashad Bateman. That's the worst one. And he's looking. Y'all saw the videos where he's, he's working his way back. So with Harbaugh talking about September, it's like, hold up, Harbaugh. I don't know, man. Could you be right? With how he was looking in the video, I'm no doctor, though. 
But I'm like, hold on, hold on. You, you said you said you expect them back in September. Now, if September had a 31st, then I'd be like, all right, hold on. Yeah, he'll be back in September for sure. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but Rashad Bateman's injury, that's been the, the most significant one. So we this, this, now this takes the place of that, unfortunately, and this, he's done for the year. So team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all, man. Um, keep your heads up. Uh, this, like I said, it definitely sucks. I feel, I feel for LJ, man. I feel for LJ. I feel for his family, man, because... Man, you you never want to see your your brother, your son, father, cousin, uncle. You never want to see them go out like this. Um, but that's that's NFL, man. That's part of part of the game, unfortunately, man. So I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. And I'm out, man.